happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah uh today we'll be watching americans call out uh biden's economy lies um pretty sure this is the part where they let us know whether or not uh black americans are missing trump now when uh price gas were at an all-time low the economy was flowing unemployment rates were down it was i think things were swell we were even i mean the only thing that i i would say was bad was the pandemic the pandemic kind of got out of control but other than that i feel like shit was shit was busting and hold on i think that was that was biden that was biden's administration right 2020 or was it i think it was handed over so it was kind of like that that check that transition uh period when that happened but yo Make sure you guys like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Yo, we're going to get straight into it. Let's see what America's saying, what black Americans are saying. The administration has been telling us that America is in one of the best spots that it's been financially and economically. Since it took office, families are carrying less debt. A recent survey from the Federal Reserve found that more Americans feel financially. And I don't know who they surveying, because I really be, when he be saying this stuff, I'll be like looking around and the people of the community that I, I mean, that I talk to, and I know these ain't people doing it even like that, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, this is not true. The debt is still, you know, if not, I, I don't know, like the price in the stores, prices everywhere, housing, everything's inflated. I don't know where they're getting these surveys. These surveys are taken amongst like 10 people that are living good. Gotta be, because I don't know where he's surveying people at. This is crazy. Sir found that more Americans feel financially comfortable than any time since the survey began in 2013. So we're going to go ask the average American if what the Biden administration is reporting happening here in America actually lines up with what people think on the streets. Comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> hey, 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 at least yeah, that's what I'm mean, asking the right people. I was wondering if they're going to ask the right people. This is the right person to ask right here. It's first, he answered it all with that first word. Comfortable? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Looking around. <laughs> Look at them gas prices. They ain't comfortable to me. Hell no. <laughs> Joe Biden says that we're in, we're in a strong economy, that we're doing great. Do you believe that? No. Ain't no comfortability <laughs> around nowhere. It really hurts America with the gas prices because the one, we have to get to work. And if we can't get to work and we got to spend all our I'm going to note, I'm just going to, you know, say I'm going to highlight this right here. Look, peep the cuts. Everyone's cut. Bro, he's looking scruffy. His his baby looking scruffy. Cut. Even the haircut prices. I remember I used to go and get a cut, you know, 25, 30 bucks. Even my barbers out here, they, they you know, they struggling too. This inflation hitting the barbers too, man. They had to jack the price up, man. Now, cut. Kid cut $50. You know what I'm saying? Starting out. Adult cut $70. That's base. That's just a regular cut. Man, can't nobody afford one thirty every, every other week? Man, this I'm telling you right now, it's, this is it right here. This is proof in the pudding. They're they interviewing the right people. That's what I like to see. My money on gas. It's the right survey. Work on that mean you can't pay your bills. So it's an endless circle of uh, endless debt. Everybody going to go in debt, you know, sooner or later because it, like what's happening now is everybody is feeling the heat from, you know, every angle of the society. So, yeah, I feel like, no, it's not true. It's, it's bullshit. Completely because, like, rent prices is crazy. We 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 paying I don't know how Housing. much percent more, but I would say at least three, three or four hundred more than we was paying two years ago. Like that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Salaries aren't going up, so how are we supposed to make the difference in income and rent? It doesn't make sense. So when the Biden administration comes forward and says that economically and financially our country's doing really well, do you think that's a lie? Yeah, I think they're blowing smoke up up out behind us. <laughs> we all knew what he wanted to say because I'm thinking the same exact thing because he gets on there and he says that with like Biden gets up there on those on those big stages at those big press conferences and he delivers these messages and he's like yeah our, our country's doing you know the best it's done since you know the survey's been conducted in 2013 and I'm like where is who is who are they surveying man because these surveys got to be the most bogusest things I've ever seen this is no no way in hell, man. Man. And look what the people, these are the people that you need to be interviewing. Hold I think up. it's Biden's fault. Trump said it would happen. Like, <laughs> we deal with a lot of the stuff that we did in with back when we had the Great Depression. We are not financially. That looked like Kevin Durant. Yo, but the black community, as you can see from this video firsthand, is feeling duped. Everyone was duped. 
everybody was on board you know what i'm saying get him out of office he's about to start the next civil war and then the next thing you know the next guy is i mean sleeping at the wheel honestly like well, what's going on and now we're seeing it you know firsthand when prices are skyrocketing everywhere it's hard to get a hold of anything it's just it doesn't make sense and now everyone's looking back like well who's in charge and we're like well it's that guy that no one really knew much about <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it was the other vote we're not financially stable comfortable or nothing like that but when trump was in office i was feeling really good really? <laughs> trump trump so joe biden yeah. too much you'd rather have trump back I want Trump back. I do not. I'm not for Biden. I'm not for him. Did you vote for Joe Biden? No. No. I mean, he lying. Did you vote at all in this? Look at his face. You could tell this face. He just lied. He lied. He trying to look good for the camera, but you know what I'm saying. He could tell inside it inside this lie. You know that lie. He also feeling like a little bit of regret. Like yeah, I did. He want to say his his. You can see his soul is screaming. Yes, I voted for uh, for Biden. But I should not have. I did not really do much research on the back end. I didn't know what he, you know, what he stand for. I didn't. I didn't know what he was really campaigning. I didn't even really look at the campaigns. I just looked at, you know, the other resources or you know influencers that were telling me that he was the next best choice other than Trump. I mean, yeah, Trump may have had like you know the word the wording issue where he was saying you know hurtful shit. But would you rather be you know him hurting your feelings or them hurting your pockets? Now it's kind of, you know what I mean, it's spinning. Everyone's seeing like, damn, I'd rather have this guy hurt my feelings than my pockets be tapped like this. This is crazy. Last election? No. No? You don't want to vote, but now that you could have a choice between Trump or Biden, you would choose? I would choose Donald Trump because he's, he's about making Oh, he said he didn't vote. Okay, you know, he didn't vote. That's fair. for like independent businesses and stuff like that. I miss Daddy T, Trump. I miss Daddy T, for real. I mean, like... I respected him because he was real about his opinion, even though I didn't always agree with him, but he kept it real with us. We know what, it, what, what was going to happen. Like, things was better. Like, the economy was better. Trump for the culture. For the culture? Yeah, he's for the culture. He just misunderstood. Oh. He's kind of like a Kanye. But, you know, he, he may say stuff the wrong way sometimes or have a wrong approach. Man, this dude is comedy in this car. I feel like he has been, like, the way when she flips back to this guy, he is chatting the most. I don't even know like what he's been like. He's been roundabout about everything he said. I love this guy though. <laughs> he definitely go over Biden. <laughs> he definitely. I can tell he's for the culture. Uh, I'd be to do that. Uh, I have yeah. a wrong approach, wrong wordplay, but I mean, yeah, wrong wordplay. Well, as a collective, okay. as a people, you know what I'm saying? He See, cares, you know, who's the better? This this is the first time I've agreed with this guy. See, okay, he. Finally said something I agree. I literally just said that. Broken record, man. Trump's, you know, he's got that the business wordplay where it kind of just, it doesn't include, it's not really inclusive of anyone's feelings. This is kind of like straightforward business plan, business model. That's if it hurts your feelings, that is, you know, so be it. You go along with your shit hurt. Um, I just feel like, you know, I don't know what Biden is really even for. I'm going to be honest. I, I want to give you guys a, you know what I'm saying, his rundown, but it don't seem like he's for much of anything, but, you know, just saying that he's the president. <laughs> president for America, Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I feel like Donald Trump. Because, I mean, that his whole slogan is make America great again, no matter how we have to, basically. So, yeah, Donald Trump. All right, y'all. So every single time I come out and I do these videos, it's not my intention to make it a Trump versus Biden thing. But all of the responses always call for Trump to be back in office and for Biden to get out because people cannot handle the economic and financial hardships of this administration. That was who, who was that? That was Savannah Hernandez. Savannah. Yo, that was a definitely a good, you know, what I'm saying that's good reporting right there. Yo, she interviewed the right crowd. Whoever Biden's, you know, campaign party or whoever backing Biden and doing these damn surveys, man, who are we saying they've been doing these surveys since 2013 has been just playing around with their job because there is no way they're surveying the right crowd of people. Savannah went in there. She got to the nitty gritty. You know what I'm saying? She she put it all on line for the interview. And I like that, yo. And we got the truth. Nothing but the truth. As you can see. The black community is definitely suffering more with Biden in office than it was with Trump, man. Yo, make sure you guys keep dropping these, man. Political, controversial, anything, you know, just 
topic videos down in the comment section below. It really helps me out. I'm checking those all out. Also, make sure you guys like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 10K. Yo, I'll catch y'all next week. Go. Baker, Baker, Baker.